So a lot of you have asked about a free version of doing a talking avatar like I showed you in this video and there are lots of possibilities for that. So in this video, I will show you free versions of doing that and I will show you the pitfalls to avoid and then compare it to the DID and no, I am not an ambassador. So step one is to prompt a nice image in either Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey or take an image you already have. It can be anything from a human being to an alien. It doesn't matter. All you need for the two first free versions to work is an image that has 512 pixels by 512 pixels or an aspect ratio of one to one. And then you need to save that to your computer. For the image that I use here, I have trained my own model in Stable Diffusion like I show you in this video. Step two is to record a video of yourself talking. You can just do it on your phone. Make sure the video has an aspect ratio of one to one. Now there is a pitfall to avoid and I will get to that just in a moment. So inside Photoshop, you press new file and you create a square file, click create. In here, you go into layer and then video layer, new video layer from file. And then in your folder structure, video that you want to make a new crop off. And that's gonna bring in your video. And now you can place it where you want, but there is a little uh, thing you need to be aware of, and that is that the jaw in the um, spline, thin spline model, it will move. So you actually need to have your picture, the picture, the image you're going to use, you need to have that aligned with your video. So I am just going to find uh, the image that I'm going to use for my video. So here I am going to pull in my file that I'm going to use right there. Then I'm going to Click return, turn down the opacity of that. And then I'm gonna right click on my layer, the video layer, and I'm going to go to convert to smart object. And that is going to make it possible for me to scale down this layer. So I'm going to lock the layer on top. I'm going to go to that layer, command T that, just zoom out there. And here you can see that I can scale down my video now and I can line it up so that my eyes and her eyes are sort of aligning. There we go. That's it actually. Then I click off that layer and I'm going to go to file and then export and render video. And in here I'm going to call this video driving mp4 and I'm gonna save that to my folder. So first off I'm going to show you the easy way of doing this. In the description below there are links to a ton of pages where you can do this for free. The first one I'm gonna show you is replica.com so click that link and let's go check it out. The first thing you do when you come to this page is that you simply drag your image into the first box and you click and drag your video to the next box. Then keep it on box. There are different models to try and you click generate. Afterwards, you can download your video. A really nice alternative to the thin plate spline motion model is the wave to lip model. See the link in the description below. In that solution, you need an audio file and a square video file with image in. So I've just dragged my image file into Photoshop and turned it into a 16 seconds video file. So in the wave to lip, you simply pull in your audio and video files and then you click the sync button. Of course, there is no audio on the video that you have created, but we are gonna fix that in a moment. Now, as you can see, the video output for this is 256 times 256 pixels, so it's very small. We're gonna fix that with the hit paw video enhancer. So let me just show you how I upscale this video because the video output that I got, it is tiny. So I'm just simply gonna drag my video into my hit paw video enhancer. And remember, if you see in the link in the description below, there is actually a promo code for 30% off when you go in and download that. So check that out, highly recommend it. 
in here, I can see that my video is, well, it's tiny. It's uh, 256 pixels. So um, it's tiny. Let's just go in, in the preview effect. Over here, I can see which model I would like to choose and I can colorize some more. So in the general denoise, I guess that's the one I'm gonna use, but let's just see what it looks like. I'm gonna go in here, press my preview. It's going to load up. And in a moment, I will be able to see what the upscale will look like and whether this is the model for me. So mm, it's not quite to my liking. So I'm gonna exit that. I'm gonna go in the animation model, which is actually normally the one you use for cartoons and comics and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna preview that, see what that looks like. This is, well, it's rather a hard uh, upscale. Let me just exit that. I don't want to upscale to 4K. I just want to upscale to 1080. So let me just see. I'm gonna go with the face model, see if that is any better. And yes, this is much more to my liking. That is actually what I was looking for. So I am going to go with that. I'm exiting my preview. I have my resolution down here. I have my format. I can also choose to go with a movie format, but for me, MP4 is five. When I press the export uh, button, it's going to bring up my folder structure and I can check where I wanna save it. And in here, this is the progress. So this is showing me that you have a tiny video. It's gonna be upscaled 750%. <laughs> and right over here, I have my status bar or my progress bar. And that is going to show me when this video will be finished and upscaled. For now, I will just take it into Premiere Pro because that is the video software that I normally use, but you can use any software that you would like to do for this. It is really simple. You click a new project and right now I am just going to call this driving and I am going to choose my folder location and it's going to be in here. There we go. So I've created my project and in here I am going to drag in my video. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to drag in my original video. So this is the upscaled video that I have from Hitpop. So I'm gonna pull that in there. And right now it's just talking and there's no sound. So I am simply going to take my driving video and I'm gonna pull it in here as well. And then I'm gonna bring in that driving video just under here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit um, O right here. That is my out point. Then I'm gonna go up here to export, final, avatar. Actually, I'm just gonna take it to match the source right there. And I am going to export that. Go to the link in the description below for the Google Collab. There is also a really cool Google Collab version of the Thin Plates Blind Motion model where you can upscale your video, but the code for upscaling is broken at the moment, unfortunately. All right, so in here, all you have to do is, well, first you scroll up and then you simply click the three first playheads and then you wait for the playheads to finish and it's going to sort of show you a green check mark out here when it's done and you can go to the next playhead. So right now this one is done and I'm going to click down here to start the next playhead. And again, I'm gonna click third playhead. And after that, you click on the folder structure here and then you go into, you click the thin plates blind motion model and in here you open the assets folder and then you simply right click here and you delete the file and you're gonna do the same with the driving file so you right click and you delete the file then you click right click on the three dots out here and here you're going to click on upload and this will bring up your computer um, and here you can take your driving mp4 
and your source PNG, and you upload those two. And it's going to tell you, oh, warning, please save these files to somewhere else on your computer because when this um, when this browser page closes down, you will not have saved any of these information. Right, so we have our source PNG, and as you can see, the driving MP4 is a bit slower, and to upload, it is a larger file for me. So, the next thing I want to do is to click the next button. Really simple. I'm going to scroll down. Oops. So, moving on. Scroll down, and you can see that your file has been loaded. And now we click the next arrow hits. And the next. Yes, and it's a success, and you can see it's actually messing up a lot of this stuff. It's done, and over here you can now look for the generated MP4, and then you just click on the three dots, and you click download. So now you have two free versions of a talking avatar, but what about DID? Hello guys and girls and everyone in between. This is Maria speaking, and we're just going to try to see how this looks in DID. Well, in this video, I showed you how to create a talking avatar with DID, and it does look a lot better. I have to say that. And also, the audio and video is combined with DID. Still, I'm not an ambassador, but that is a huge plus. Now, let me know in the comments below how this worked out for you. And remember, creativity doesn't wait for the perfect moment. So just go and create that animated avatar now.